<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to the Viva La Vegan YouTube channel. I hope you're joining us here every week, at least once a week, because on Tuesdays we have our question and answer video series. And today's is, why are so many activists rude and aggressive online? Oh my, what a question. I get asked this so, so many times and I get asked for my advice on how to handle this negativity that just seems to be everywhere at the moment, particularly if you're on Facebook. Many activists say that they love animals, but they find it hard to remember that humans are animals too. So you really need to focus on compassion for some people. If you're compassionate, then be compassionate. And if you're not, then learn. And it's easy to get angry, it's easy to say hurtful things, and it's easy to blame other people. I truly believe that everyone is doing the best that they can in the best way that they know how to. I will never agree with negativity and aggression, but I understand why people are reacting instead of acting. Nowadays, we're so far removed from actual human connections. We are constantly connected online, but not in reality. People who are friends online may never actually meet each other. Behind a computer screen, you can say anything and be anyone that you want to be. You can actually never know the consequences of what you're going to, to say or to do to people, and you may never know what's going to happen. There's been so many uh, things in the press at the moment about people being bullied online, people killing themselves, people being depressed, and I think some people really need to sort of, you know, know when enough's enough and not gauge in this sort of behaviour. Veganism can definitely be another excuse for people to be angry, and there's a lot of reasons to be angry. If you focus on anger and negativity, that's exactly what you're going to get. You need to ask yourself, what are you feeding? A lot of people are crying out for attention and interaction, and if they don't get it for doing something good, then they will definitely get it for doing something that upsets others. I'm sure you see so many videos and so many articles of some really um, divisive sort of ideas that people have, and this seems to bring the most interaction on blogs, on podcasts, on videos. And we don't know what's going on in some people's lives. And um, my best advice is to be compassionate to these people. And these people are the only ones who can actually change whatever's happening in their life at the moment. You don't actually have to have anything to do with these people and it's your choice. You are the one who has control over this. There are always going to be people who you don't get on with, who create drama, spread drama, or who thrive on drama. And you just don't need to engage with these people. Delete them off your Facebook. Don't follow them on Twitter. Don't listen to you know, news about them when someone talks about them. You don't spread this negativity. Don't spread the anger. And one of my um, tips that I give for people with online interaction and online etiquette is to act and don't react. So many people just seem to forget this. Act rationally and don't react emotionally. Realize the power of your words and please be the best version of yourself, whether that's online or in person with people because you never know how your words actually are affecting people. And I hope that's helped and if you have any other tips on how you deal with people, please share them below. And I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday for our next question and answer which is what's wrong with free range. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out vivalavegan.net for more information.